This is Olaf Grimm, who's responsible for uh, Central, uh, Central Europe at Crown uh, Packaging. And uh, Olaf, can you tell me a bit about what the applications are used for metal packaging uh, that you provide? So uh, we are selling uh, metal packaging mostly for the paint industry, yep. paint and lacquer, so the yep. traditional paint cans, but also pails, and for the chemical industry. The chemical industry reuses uh, next to the traditional uh, 100 milliliter to 20 liter uh, pails, also yep. CODG packaging, which means packaging which is uh, possible to fill uh, to transport with uh, dangerous goods. Yeah. So our packaging range is from uh, one liter or from 100 milliliter to 30 liter. Yes. Uh, is, how is the competition from plastic packaging in this area in paint and uh, chemicals? Um, there was a strong substitution effect during uh, the last two years mm -hmm. within the DIY range. Yes. So the traditional uh, range of uh, two liter to 20 liter. Yep. I would say, and the wall paint, the traditional wall paint was uh, 10 liter to 15 liter. That is, has uh, in Germany, for example, and also in Switzerland, mm -hmm. it has vanished to plastic. Yes. But the uh, smaller paint cans from uh, 250 milliliter to 1 liter mm -hmm. uh, will stay even in 10 years in metal because there's really no advantage for uh, plastic packaging. Mm -hmm. And from 2.5 to 5 liter, we are. Uh, in with fighting against plastic substitution within that moment and I think metal is the better answer in terms of uh, sustainability mm -hmm. but also there are some very practical reasons why you, uh, DIY markets will stay in metal. Yes, and so, so what, can you give, what, what are those practical reasons? Uh, for metal yes. packaging, yeah. in, in the DIY market, metal is at least, it, uh, it's very stable, yeah. so if you drop a metal pail from uh, one meter, uh, so it will not open, mm -hmm. but from, uh, in, uh <coughs> from uh, if you do the same with uh, packaging from um, plastic, it will not, uh, it will break. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, how do you see the uh, business developing in um, uh, countries like Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary? So it's a very, for us, a very interesting market because we are not really uh, in this market with a market share. Mm -hmm. So that's a real opportunity for growth for us. It's not a traditional market where we are already market leader or number two or number three. Yes. It's already a it's a market where we'll also be one of the beginners. And that means if you don't have a share today, it means it's a great, great opportunity for growth. <laughs> so uh, um, that's uh, why we target also the Eastern European markets. Yes. Um, these countries are very uh, strong, uh, the growth rates in these countries are far stronger than in our traditional home markets like Germany or Switzerland. So it's in, in terms of growth rates, it's also a very interesting market. The, um, the income of the people in, in these countries are also growing faster mm -hmm. than in our countries. So even from that point, you will see in the future more consumption of traditional DIY or high chemical products. This is an, an area where we see our growth opportunities. For sure. Okay, thank you very much.